lawyers struggle a lot with what information to give to the other party and when to give it to the other party. We take these ideas from gambling and from games um, and we try to carry them over into our work. For example, um, a gambler at a table never wants to be the first person to make a bet because whenever you're the first person to make a bet, you give the other party, the other player in the game, um, more information. They know how strong you believe your hand to be. They may learn that you're a bluffer. They may learn, they may take all types of information from you being the initial better in a game. So you always want to avoid doing that. Lawyers tend to think of their work in that way. They don't want to be the first person to make a move. There's a huge downside to doing that as well, which is whenever you're not the first person to make a move, the other person makes a move first that becomes an anchor to the negotiation. So there are circumstances, I believe there's a really strong incentive, for example, in misdemeanor criminal cases, to be the person who gets out in front of the negotiations, to go ahead and show some of the strength of your hand, to go ahead and make an offer that is a really good one to resolve the case. Um, in that way, you avoid that anchoring problem. In that way, you go ahead and become sort of negotiating from a position of strength in the cases. So just a thought, different way to think about these things instead of just trying to hold back all the time.